Whakatau Pōtiki, te haerenga. Whakatau Pōtiki was a chief of great mana. As the population of Hawaii grew, resources became scarce. When conflict arose between his two sons, Rongomai and Rongo Atu, Whakatau Pōtiki decided Rongomai and himself should leave. Rongo Atu stood on the cliff and his farewells echoed. May your canoe serve as a younger sibling to you. May you remember me through mahuhu ki te rangi. Rongomai replied, May the land serve as an older brother to you. As you turn the soil and harvest the crops, think of me. To ensure safe travels, Rongomai stopped in Wairoti and gave offerings and karakia to Tangaroa, Kiwa and Hinemoana. Mahuhu ki te rangi carried Rongomai and Whakatau Pōtiki across te tai o Rehua, enduring endless storms and hardship. They were sustained by dreams of their new life in Nukuroa, their travels inspired by the great explorer Kupe. At last, land came into their sights. Mahuhu ki te rangi explored the rich waters and harbours of Nukuroa, Whangaroa and Whangareru. They tracked north and south again into Hokianga before travelling to Kaipara. Rongomai recognised the rich resources available in Kaipara. The land was ideal for crops and teeming with fish and birds. He thought it would be the perfect place to settle. While establishing himself in Kaipara, he also noticed the beautiful wahine. Rongomai married a chief Denise, who lived on the island of Taporapora. They fell in love and were married. Rongomai became a strong, influential and respected leader amongst the Ngāti Kui people. He was also a feared warrior. Over time, he acquired great wealth and prestige, much to the resentment of his extended family.